so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code this side so today is yet another POTD sum of all substrings of a number so let us quickly have a look at the question the question says that you have been provided with a number in the form of a string right one two three four for example now you have to create all the possible substrings of the number so the possible substrings of this number are one one two 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. After that, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, right? After that, 3, 3, 4. After that, 4. Okay. So I think these are the all these are all the possible substrings of the number. Now you have to provide me the sum of all these values. So the sum of all these values is 1 plus 12 plus 123 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. That will give me a sum. So let's say x. This will give me y, this will give me z, this will give me w and I have to provide the answer as x plus y plus z plus w, right? So, how can I do that? How can I do that? So, see my approach is whenever I see a word substrings in the problem statement, I think that the brute force approach is always to select out all the substrings. Select out all the substrings how do i do that so i have one two three four the index is zero one two three four okay so i will move my eye pointer from zero up till three right and inside it i will use a nested loop to move my j pointer from i to three right so first of all when i is 0 my j will be 0 then j will be 1 then j will be 2 then j will be 3 after that iteration i equals to 1 j will be z, uh, 1 j equals to 2 equals to 3 after that i will become 2 j will become equals to 2 j will become equals to 3 after that i will become 3 j will become 3 right these are all the possible combinations of i and j according to this nested loop pseudocode now what will I do? I will say my answer is in the starting of the function 0, right? Okay. Then as soon as I increment the uh, j, I will increment my answer, right? So I will make my curve as equals to 0 and I will say that after each step, curve plus equals to s of j. Now this is in the character form. So I will use minus 0 to make it in the digit form and then I will say answer plus equals to curve right so for i equals to 0 j equals to 0 my curve will be 1 and my answer will become 1 after that my curve will be 12 right 1 plus 2 right 1 plus 2 12 and then my answer will become 1 plus 12 13 after that my curve, uh, j will be on the second position that's a 1 2 3 my answer will become 13 plus 123 then 1 2 3 4 and then my answer will become this value plus 1 2 3 4 after that j will become 1 but now I will start from 2 curve will become 2 answer will become this value plus 2 after that 23 then 22 34 and this last step will make 4 right all these substrings will be made right so this is a brute force approach what is the time complexity time complexity of this approach is o of n square y of n square because we are using a nested loop and I don't think there is a need to explain why of n square is, uh, is being used in this approach right and the space complexity is O of 1, O of 1. But wait, is there an efficient approach? Is there an optimized approach I can use? Because I mentioned brute force, that means I will have to tell you the optimized approach for the same problem, right? So optimized approach, okay. So I had been given input as 1, 2, 3, 4, right? The indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, right? Let me make all the substrings ending at index 0. All the substrings ending at index 0. So the answer to that will be this is my 0 index. Only one substring is ending at 0, that is 1. For in this is for 0. If this index is 1, that is all the substrings ending at index 1. So that will be 12 and only 2 so it will be 2 
and 12. Okay. After that, third. After that, ending at index equals to 2, sorry. So it will be 3, 23, 1, 2, 3. So I guess these are the, all the substrings in the ending at 2. And similarly for 4, it will be, for, similarly for the index 3, it will be 4, 34, 234 and 1234 right these are all the possible substrings ending at index 0 1 2 respectively so i say the sum of index uh, substrings ending at 0 is 1 it is equals to 14 here it is equals to 146 plus 3 149 here it is equals to so if i add them up 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 3 4 4 so it will be 16 1 9 10 1 5 0 one five zero six i add them up right and this will be my answer okay so my my objective is my objective is to drive an relation among these values so that my task of o of n square is getting reduced uh, to some uh, less time complexity so what can i do let us take this one let us take this one so s of three that is sum of sum at uh, sum of all the substrings ending at three is actually equals to four plus thirty four plus two thirty four plus one, one two three four right and s of two is three plus twenty three plus one twenty three right okay so if I make some mathematical changes into it I can write it as four and I can split thirty four into thirty plus four similarly I can split two thirty into two thirty plus four. Similarly, I can split 1, 2, 3, 0, plus 4. It is mathematically possible, right? Okay. Now, I want to combine all these 4s. So, it is 4 number of 4. So, 4 into 4. And now, I want to combine rest of them. So, 30 plus 230 plus 1, 2, 3, 0. Are you able to get where I am going with this? Okay. You will get it in a second. So, 4 into 4 plus 3 plus 23 plus 123 into 10. Is this statement, is this bracket notation visible to you somewhere on the screen? Okay, if you are able to locate it here, then you have got great observational skills. The answer is 3 plus 23 plus 123 is actually equal to S of 2. So I can write it as 4 into 4 plus S of 2 into 10. Okay, so my one of the things has been broken down. Can I represent it also as something else? So I see that I am doing it for 3. And it is 4 here. So I can say 4 into 3 plus 1 plus S of 2 into 10. 4 into 3 plus 1 plus S of 2 equal into 10. This will be my value of S of 3. My objective is to find the answer of S of 0 plus S of 1 plus S of 2 plus S of 3. Right? So this can be represented as this. Similarly, this can be represented as uh, S of like string of i that we name it as a of i minus 0 for where is this coming from this 4 is coming from this okay and this 3 is coming from the index I am present at so a i minus 0 into i plus 1 that is 2 here okay plus S of 1 into 10 I just use this formula to write this formula and that's uh, see, uh, equally I can write this equally I can write this for this I have don't have to use uh, previous value previous value of s0 is s of minus 1 which I can take as 0 right okay so my approach will be so my string is 1 2 3 4 my approach will be to create a vector of size n let us name it as dp of size n initialize all with 0 right my dp of 0 is actually equals to s of 0 minus 0 right this value dp of 0 is 1 so dp of 0 is 1 so dp of size n that is 3 right so this is 1 these all are 0 okay then for i going from this that is index 1 up till n minus 1 that is third index what I am doing is s of i sorry dp of i is equals to s of i minus 0 that is this digit it will give me 2 into uh, into i plus 1 that is 2 into 3 okay 
plus s of i minus 1 into 10 okay so let us make it up so 1 0 0 0 this will give me 2 into the index is 1 here so 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 into 10 that is 10 so it will give me 14 okay now this will give me 3 into index is 2 so 3 into 3 plus uh, 14 into 10 that is 140 that is 149 right now this will give me 4 into 4 plus 149 into 10 that is 16 plus 1490 that is equals to 1506 and you can match all of these values with these values these all are matching so our approach is correct and we will, and at last we will use this dp array to calculate our sum so it will be 1 plus 14 plus 149 plus 1506 and that will be my answer that will be my answer what is the space complexity used here i use the space complexity of o of n and time complexity o of n right i use an iteration o of n to uh, calculate the dp array and i use m1 iteration to on the dp array to calculate the sum to calculate the sum but i see that i have done so much dsa right i should be able to optimize it more can i optimize it more can it reduce this space complexity is there some way to reduce the space complexity so the dsa specialist says yes dsa specialist says yes how so you can observe that for dpi i'm just dependent on s of i and s of i minus one i just want a previous value i just want a previous value and that is my answer that is my answer i will just space optimize this approach i will say my previous is equals to 0 that is for s of i minus 1 right so s of minus 1 sorry previous is equals to 0 my answer is equals to 0 my current is equals to 0 then what I will say I will use a loop I will go from 0 to n minus 1 right my curve will now become s of i minus 0 into i plus 1 plus prev into 10 this approach is exactly same as this step okay this thing is actually equal and the i minus one is previous okay we used curve we said increment your answer answer plus equals to curve right so instead of keeping them into an array i'm just adding them into the final answer okay answer plus equals to curve okay and after that my previous will become equals to curve for the next iteration my previous will become equals to curve for the next iteration and at last i will say return answer right so what is the space complexity here space complexity is here is o of one because i'm not using 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 any extra space it is a space optimized formula time complexity remains o of n right i was not able to i was not able to reduce it more i think that is the optimized time complexity and it will not be reduced more but still if you are able to come up with an approach that is using less time complexity such, such as something like o of log and etc i will be happy to hear it out okay so i think you are clear with the approach if so please do like the video and do leave a comment of something appreciating me right uh, it feels very motivated okay so let's come to the code now in the meantime i would like to, i would like you to request you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and please 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 connect with me on instagram linkedin there are many opportunities right we should connect with each other right and see what is happening in each other's life okay so what we will do we will make long long prev as zero cur as zero and answer is zero right we will also define long long mode as 1 in 9 plus 7 why did i do that because the question says answer will be large so return answer in modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 that is easy to inculcate right what will i do for int i going from 0 up till s dot length i plus plus my curve will be equals to s of i minus 0 star i plus 1 plus prev star 10 right after that i will take the mod of the curve so curve percentile equals to mod answer plus equals to curve answer percentile equals to mod just for the safety purposes and then assign my curve to the previous and at last i will return my answer so hope it would work fine because I've inculcated the same code which I taught you and it is running fine for the combined run case so that deserves a like button 
and for the uh, submit button let's see so the counter is going up okay so 11 111 days streak thank you for supporting me in this journey we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and thank you for watching the video thank you have a nice day